And why we are here is basically to empower women and to tell women that they have a voice. I I feel like we have been silent for so long. Like the incident that happened with that lady and the Buddha Buddha guys. I did not see women coming out strongly and condemning such kind of an issue. Why? Because we feel like because it is not next door or it did not happen close to home, that you don't feel a sense of responsibility. But every woman should know that you have a voice and your voice counts. It doesn't matter if you're a CEO, ama unauza ama weni mamamboga. As long as you're a woman, especially even if you, especially if you've given birth because I'm a mother, just know that if you don't fight for today, then your kids will be in jeopardy tomorrow. So today we are telling women, you have a voice, you're beautiful, you're enough. Stand up, stick up for women. And also we're not saying that we, are, we don't want to involve men, but we're saying if our men are not standing up for us, then we will stand up for ourselves and we will fight. We fight for a better Kenya and we fight for a better tomorrow. So I am a woman, my voice will, will count, and I'm hoping and I'm rallying every other woman out there. It's more than how you look, it's more than your hair, it's more than hips or anything. It's your voice, it's what you have, it's what you can say. And trust me, whatever, however small it is, it will still count. So a mama, manze, I'm Kenny, I Kenya ni yetu, na ni yetu after, after Uhuru, after Ruto, ni yetu bado na itakuwa yetu. So tusipos mama, atutakuwa na Kenya ya kesho. So to, the choices that we make today will count for tomorrow. Please, every woman, make it count tomorrow. Whatever we do today, it has to affect Kesho. Yeah. And I believe there is a lot that needs to be done when it comes to rules and regulations, especially like for what happened with the border border incident. I think we need more rules to govern the whole system where there's no blame game that is put. People know if you do this, this is what happens. It's about time women stood up for each other. It's not about sitting down and saying, I'm by myself. Mind about your neighbor. Mind about the next person. Because we have children who are growing. They want to grow in a nation where they know we have a sense of responsibility. We have a sense of belonging as women. And I believe when we're all praying and saying we need gender equity, it all comes from also men helping us. You know, you can't do it as women by ourselves. We need also men to stand up and help women to stand by, this, by themselves, to know what is expected in the society, and also have gender, um, partial, uh, what do you call this, to come together, have an, an equal way where you know, I can stand for my rights, and we stop this whole men, male-dominated society where women feel like you cannot stand up for your own rights. And I believe if we all stand up, something is going to change. It's step by step. Change doesn't come like from just changing the rules and just saying, okay, the rules are there. Let's go ahead. No, it starts by me and you, step by step, bring change within ourselves. So it starts from home. And desensitize the information from one person to another. It's our all collective view for everyone. Yeah. It will happen in a week's time, something else has happened. So we forget. Like right now, everyone has forgotten what happened to the border border situation. And it's not where you can say this person is right, this person is wrong. No. It's where you find something needs to be done that is continuous. If you say we are going to do this, let it be a continuous educative system where, you know, the authorities need to be involved, the churches need to be involved, the youth need to be involved. It's a whole collective um, idea where we all have to stand up together. Yeah. We are towards elections, so people will say what pleases people to get votes and numbers. And people need to forget that it's not just about the votes and the numbers. We need to know that as long as you have a daughter, a granddaughter, an auntie, a mother, you have to stand up for the rights for everyone. It's not about just the votes, it's about everyone standing up and just saying this is wrong, this should not have happened, something needs to be done. How can you change the society? How can you bring people together and find a way of just saying, if this is wrong, this is wrong. No giving excuses or saying this is going to favor me towards me getting votes or something of a sort. It's about being collective as a community. And I believe that's what our national anthem is all about. Unifying Kenya. 
unity in Kenya. Yeah, of two. So I'm raising girls, and I look at this situation in a way that uh, I'm looking at their future. Uh, because uh, I don't want them to go through what is happening right now because it's really, really painful seeing uh, a woman going through what just happened the other day. And uh, for me, I feel that it's kwa sababu sio dada yangu ama sio tunafikia tunafeel ni kama sio dada yangu sio mtu najua we don't stand for them so for me i feel we are supposed to stand for any woman and uh, most of them are the people who are going through uh, a lot of things that are, the, uh, most women are going through a lot of things and they don't have anyone to talk uh, to talk for them and uh, hakuna mm -hmm. mtu at, uh, anaye anayewasimamia na hata kuna wengine wana go through mambo ingine na hakuna hata mtu hata yeyote ana, ana broadcast kama vile yake ya huyo msichana ili broadcastiwa so i can imagine those who are there in silent going through a lot and uh, it's very traumatizing seeing uh, that kind of a scene so for me i believe we are supposed to as as a woman we stand for them and uh, we fight for this thing gender violence yeah how I feel about the gender violence, it's because it's uh, it's so frustrating to see another woman being mistreated by our fellow men, and uh, we as women, we're not there to support her. We're not to linyamazia to your story, you see. So uh, me as a teen, mm -hmm. I am calling also my fellow teen women to support us women. <laughs> yes.